Hey tribe. So I am walking with my buddy here and I decided that it's a good time to talk about the 20. Okay, let's 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 make it right. Two minute. Okay. Shoot. Two for 22 commitment. Oh, we made it simpler and now still need to learn it. Anyway, this is a one take video about uh, me deciding to talk about uh, motivation behind the two or 22 commitments. I nailed, I nailed it. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about what motivates me to do it and hopefully that motivation will inspire you and kind of give you insights in how each one of us can motivate ourselves, hopefully. And I hope it's not too windy for the microphone as I'm walking with my buddy here. I quickly checked if the wind is not too much for the audio, uh, but well, we're aiming at not being perfect in this commitment, so I will simply continue while being pulled by my husky. Anyway, let's make this video valuable and talk about the essential things. Uh, so first of all, I wanted to quickly reflect together with you. There are dogs around here and my dog's going nuts because there's this big shadow dog. Oh, I am wasting your time. Hopefully this is funny for you and I'm bringing you good emotions. <laughs> so, okay, there's the big shadow dog. This is my husky. I taught him not to pull as much, but dogs are dogs. So, all right, coming back to the main point, which we didn't start yet. So, uh, first of all, uh, as the 2 for 22 commitment is slowly developing into a thing, uh, I had this consideration, you know, whether, whether we should do the filming of ourselves each day or not. And it's a tough decision because um, there, you know, there's part of me which thinks maybe it's too much for people. You know, maybe if we want to make this right, if we want this to spread, we need to kind of keep it simple. But the other side of me is also thinking, well, shoot, if, if it's too simple, then what's the point of doing this? And this is where I started thinking about motivation and, you know, how do I motivate myself to post every day, to film myself, whether I'm in a good mood or a bad mood, to do that kind of reflection and what motivates me to do the two minute rule practice every day, one way or another. And a big part of me is, actually the kind of knowledge understanding obviously there's myself you know i i become better i realize that i'm growing and developing but something that i was happy about for a long time in my life and i kind of realized that only in my later years that that's it's a thing uh to be honest i don't even know how exactly that developed i could only guess but since forever i always felt like i'm a part of the whole. I always felt like I'm a part of the community and part, I'm part of the society, that we're all kind of this one big mass, like an organism, like, you know, a body with different cells. I never felt like I'm, I never felt like I'm a separate part, uh, kind of a separate individual who needs to only care about himself. And I think that always motivated me to become better for that. Because internally, I always had that realization that if I am focusing on becoming better, then the better I will become, the more other people will benefit from that as well. Like if one cell in the body is a super cell, then the whole body kind of becomes better. And that was always a huge motivation for me. And it is up to today. And I think that's one of the reasons I'm inspired and motivated to do the two for 22 commitment, not only for myself, but also for the realization that what I do matters and what I share matters. And sometimes I keep saying this in the, in the tribe, in the Facebook group, but sometimes it feels to us like it doesn't matter what I do. It's like, ah, I got only one like, or, you know, there's only one comment. So nobody's watching, nobody cares. But on one level, you never know. Maybe that one single person that click the like button, maybe that was a game changer for that person. Or maybe that person got the right thing at the right time. Maybe he was having a hard day and, and his day became much better. And you just 
don't know about it because you never got a chance to hear that person saying it. But it doesn't mean it didn't happen. And trust me, from living this kind of lifestyle of always thinking about what kind of effect I have on others, whether it's a positive uh, impact that I have or not, uh, I had so many examples where I was surprised to what impact I had without myself even knowing, sometimes without even trying. And one of such examples, or many of these examples, where, where even like five years later, I would meet a friend who was just like, you know, friend, not like a student of mine or something when I used to teach martial arts or yoga. And that friend, I'm really concerned this is too noisy, so I think we're gonna turn around and head back because there's the motorway. Next. All right. And there's the motorcycle. I think motorcycles are my curse. I think they're following me everywhere. So let's continue. And uh, Ganeshi, you know. Yeah, so uh, I would meet these friends after like five years and, and they would tell me, oh, you know, I'm doing this awesome thing. And you know, they're, they're, they're like doing great in their career. They're pursuing their passion, their dream. And I'm so happy for them. And suddenly I hear them, sometimes not even telling me directly, but sharing to others. There was a specific case like that once where the guy, my, my good friend, he was telling to others. It's like, oh, you, you know, because I saw Roka's doing his thing. And then I thought, I can do it too. And suddenly he started, he became a programmer, like a professional programmer and a really good one. Although he, that's nothing like what he was studying. That's, he was studying very different things, something with construction. And he, he became great at it. And only years later, not even to me directly, I learned that what I did, the, the fact that I pursued my passion, uh, inspired him to do it. And he never even told me directly. I had to hear that from someone else and I never knew. I was always so happy about him and so passionate about his achievements, but turns out I had an influence in it. And most of the time I wasn't even aware of it. And I had other cases like that too, where I would post something and I would share you know, myself doing something and I wouldn't think much of it. But then later on, I would hear a direct explanation that actually that impacted that person. And first of all, that's such a cool feeling to know that what you do matters, but also that recognition that uh, what I do sometimes matters without me even knowing, I think it's an important one. It's something I have to keep reminding myself of all the time, even when I do this sometimes. You know, some, some days I'm not as inspired and, and to be honest, some days, yeah, I'm like, is this a good direction? You know, I'm investing a lot of time to try to make this happen and sometimes I'm thinking like, should I really do it? Is, is, you know, is this like, there's a bunch of other challenges and whatnot, and you can always you know, find out, oh, there may be ticks around here, so we shouldn't go. So you have those doubts, but then I would keep on pushing through and I would continue doing this. And then a few days later, I would get a message of someone saying, oh, you know, I'm doing this too and it inspired me so much. Or somebody would share their video there reflections and I was like oh man this is so cool this is really worth doing so so I think that's kind of the main thing I wanted to share with you is that if you're having those doubts you know whether I should oh there's the shadow dog again my dog's being well pressure testing my patients <laughs> no, I'm a patient guy though so I'll show you the, the, the dog look shadow dog big guy anyway so yeah um so my main point that i wanted to share is that if you're considering whether you should do it or not it's like why if you have those questions of why would i do it? you know like who cares what's the difference my my message is my main point is not that i always remember that but i know deep inside from my experience that it does matter not only to me not only because you know i'm per se a public persona oh, this is the, the, these are the noises my dog makes. So not only just because I'm a public persona and you know, I'm, I'm always putting myself out there and uh, on my main channel, I have some following, but not just because of that. Like with the new project, I don't have that much following, but I still realize even if it's just one like, even if just one person saw it, 
that may make all the difference. So it doesn't matter that it, whether it's me or whether it's you, each one of us can have that impact. And if we have the chance to have that impact, why not do it? You know, and as always, oh, dogs, dogs, dogs. <laughs> this is another dog. He's angry, I think. Or he's saying, release me. <laughs> anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm about to finish this video. So, so if you're having doubts, uh, just remember that it does matter what you do. You do matter. And uh, there's those two levels as well. Uh, you're doing it. Part of it is because there's a chance you will make somebody's life better by just sharing your own process. And the other part is that it's also work on yourself. It's also no matter, no wonder it's a commitment. You're also becoming better, more authentic. Uh, and I'm speaking from experience. I'm kind of describing my own experience. You now you, uh, you're, f you force yourself to accept whatever you made, like this video, this one take. You know, usually that's not a YouTube standard to have Doc going wild and all these noises. I should refilm re this, but part of mine is having that battle of, damn it, nobody's gonna watch this video, especially the first minute. You have to make the first minute super interesting. You have to give the point and all these thoughts. And the other part of my brain is saying, chill, you know, accept this. This is, this is fine. This is who you are. You don't have to be perfect every time. So that's a, an awesome process. And that's worthy enough to do on its own. And I could continue, but again, my YouTuber brain says, don't make this video too long because nobody's gonna watch it. Don't waste people's time. And uh, I can always make another one later. But I hope that this contemplation does inspire you to reconsider whether you wanna join the 2422 commitment or not. And yeah, just basically, you do matter what you do even when you don't know it matters. And even small actions, small bits can have a huge difference, even without us knowing. So if you can, if it only takes you a couple minutes per day to do it, and it can have that impact on you and other, on others, I think it's more than enough reason to do it. Keep questioning. <laughs>